Everyone knows that the best part of the pre-Valentine's Direct was Tetris 99, a battle royale version of the most popular game in the world. But this isn't a video about how amazing Tetris 99 is, this is a video about what it's like to live with someone who- wait no, that's girlfriend reviews. This is a guide on Tetris 99 because they either pulled a game we shall not speak of, or someone forgot to make a guide on how this game works. Th to be fair, Tetris is pretty straightforward, you gotta place your shapes in such a way that you can create a horizontal line and that line will disappear. Once you run out of vertical space, you lose. You can rotate your tetraminos clockwise by pressing the A button and counterclockwise by pressing the B button. And you can speed up how quickly they fall either by pressing the down button for a soft fall or the up button for... Oops, I shouldn't have button mashed. Ah, and there goes the game. But you probably already know the basics of Tetris, so instead let's talk about that 99 part. Since this is a battle royale, you will need to have a good strategy for taking out the other 98 players and not getting defeated along the way. To do so, you must understand the attack options. When you complete a line, you will send a junk line to another player. You can manually select your target using the left control stick, but who has time to do that? Also, there's the whole stick drift issue. Nope. And most people seem to forget to change who they're manually targeting, like this guy who just kept attacking me the entire game until he got knocked out, cause you should know better than to target the Vasco. So, you might want to choose one of the auto-targeting options that can be selected by using the right control stick. The default option at the start of every game is always random. The other options are KOs, which will target players who are close to getting knocked out, attackers, which will target whoever is targeting you, and badges, which will attack a random player who has the most badges. I'll explain what that means in a moment. Attackers is the only targeting method that will hit multiple players at once. KOs and badges will simply target a single player who fits one of their conditions. If there's more than one, the game will randomly target only one of them. Speaking of which, the targeting system is very very weird. You would think that whoever you're currently targeting is who will get hit when you complete a line, but that isn't the case at all. When you complete a line, the targeting system will pick a new target and hit them with the number of blocks depending on how many lines you completed. You heard that right, you will not hit the player you were currently targeting, but instead the game will retarget to someone else who fits the attacking conditions and attack them. This means that unless players who are currently targeting you have manually selected you or have the attacker's option selected and you're targeting them, when they complete their lines you will not get hit. Instead they will retarget and attack someone else who isn't suspecting it. This means that the whole watch out part is just a scare tactic to put more pressure on you. You should be more worried about how to not get targeted by those who aren't currently targeting you. I do want to stress that this is only if people targeting you aren't using the manual targeting option, which most players won't use since it's very hard to keep up with. Of course this also means that if you're targeting someone who is close to a KO, when you complete a line, your attack will actually go to a different person who's near a KO, so if you really want to pick off players you might want to tap your left stick so that you manually stay on that player until they get knocked out. If your attack is responsible for a player's defeat, you will receive a badge. The more players you knock out, the more badges you will earn. Which weird flex, but also you're now easier to target. Since there's usually very few players with badges, the badge attack option will randomly target players until someone gets a badge. It will also target those with the most badges, so if you have 3 badges and everyone else has 1 or 0, you will be the only target. The last attack option is to follow the golden rule, only attack those who are targeting you. This is the only option that will target multiple players at once and remember, they just have to be targeting you. When they complete a line, they will just retarget. This means that you can attack them, but they won't hit back. Also, since you can target multiple players this way, this is a great strategy for knocking out a bunch of other players. Maybe that watch out text is meant for those who dare target you. Just keep in mind that the more players you manage to knock out, the easier it will be for others to target you since you have more badges. And as with the others, if no one's targeting you, the AI will just select a random person to attack. The attack system can get a bit wonky at times and there's probably a lot of minor details that I might have missed. However, one thing that I learned from looking at the game while working on this video is that the most important thing to do is to keep your board as clean as possible. As soon as you accidentally pile up too high, enemies who have the KOs option selected will flock towards you and you can get overwhelmed rather easily. 
Also, no single strategy seems to be perfect for the entire match. For example, the pure badges strategy had me attacking the same player for over half of the game. But I wasn't able to knock them out. Since I wasn't able to knock out other players, I was basically stuck playing defensive most of the time. This might be the best mode for you if you're new to the game and just need to practice keeping your board clean. Picking attackers gave me plenty of opportunity to accrue badges. And it's super fun to do when 4 players try to take you down. <laughs> peasants. But it doesn't work as well as KOs when it comes to taking players out. Whatever attack strategy you chose, just remember that you might benefit from shifting it every now and then. Badges will have you attacking a good player and might not help out much in the early game. Attackers is great for when more than 2 people are currently targeting you, and KOs is great for ganging up and eliminating players who make mistakes. Or you can just… random. I hope you learned something about how this fun new game works. I can't wait to see what type of strategies come out from each of the 5 possible targeting options. Let me know in the comments what do you think about this game and was there anything I missed? And if you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing for more. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the comments.